uh, with a flight through the clouds on the back of a dragon. A friendly dragon. Uh, you'll recognise him from BBC Two's Dragon Zen series. He's also, though, among many, many, many brilliant hats that he wears, CEO of world-leading cloud service provider Outsourcing. Um, so to begin our journey on a trip through the clouds and to enhance our relationship with our technology, please welcome to the stage, Pierce. So we're all guilty of it, but technology, this virtuous cycle, is never going to end what I've been discussing. Cloud will be superseded by you know, tiny sort of chips that sit in your pocket. We'll move away from silicon chips to nanophotonics because we have to, because they can't cope with the technology needs of today. Her insights will resonate with you. They resonate with audiences at every level. She is absolutely the perfect person to counsel us on our cerebral relationship with web. So please, welcome to the stage, Natalie. But there's also something else, so these world promises that you can't sort of even hope to fulfill. So when do we start moving into this territory of duplicity? I sort of hesitate to use the word. This is a great example. I actually quite like the website. It's by Marie Folio, who does a business school in the US. And you'll see that the uh, big call to action here, get anything you want. Really? I would love an Aston, uh, you know, a little V9 on the front of my house tomorrow, nine o'clock. I don't think she's going to get to me. And yet, because it's so nebulous as a promise, she's allowing me and all of us to paint in whatever our wildest dreams might be. The threats that we face today are exactly the same as they were 15, 18 years ago. One is something called social engineering, which is the ability to persuade people to do things with their computers which are actually not in their interests. The second is malware deployment, getting something onto somebody's computer which they can manipulate. And the third thing is hacking. Now, actually, hacking is a very esoteric and elite activity. There are only very few people who can actually do the, the, the work of getting into network systems and understanding how they function. I 100% absolutely loved it. It was a great event. Um, ran absolutely brilliantly by the brewery. Uh, the food is great, the drink is great. Uh, one of my favorite speakers uh, was Misha Glennie. Knowledge event was brilliant. I'd love to come to some of their other kind of themed events and hear about what they've got to say about different topics as well. It's great. Yeah, really, really good. And you met some fascinating people, and also saw brilliant people on stage. It was really, yeah, great. 